Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight, we have these three Voss sparkling waters. They're in glass bottles. The center one is a still sparkling water, and the two on the sides are sparkling with an added flavor. This one is lemon cucumber, and this one is tangerine lemongrass. A couple months ago, I did a review of Voss water that's the still version. And so now I'm doing the sparkling one. So we're going to do a taste comparison, and I'm going to tell you my personal preference on which one I think tastes better. So let's open them up and do a comparison. So first of all, I love the bottle. I talked about this when I did the still bottle. I think it's a fantastic design. I think this is one of the best-looking bottles of water I've ever done. So let's open it up. Start off with the lemon cucumber. I got a you know a puff of air. I can smell it already. Smell a little bit of lemon. Smells like a uh, you know, floor cleaner kind of, like, you know, lemon pledge or something like that. Or it just smells like a lemon. What am I talking about? I don't like uh, sparkling waters, and this is no different. Um, here's the still one. It's not terrible. I mean, from one one to ten, I would say it's like it's like a four out of ten. But here's the still one. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah, it's not terrible. I mean. I've been reviewing a lot of sparkling waters lately. This is not too strong. It's also not super mild. Uh, it's like it's not burning my throat, which is good. Uh, Voss water is from Norway. A lot of people consider it overpriced and overrated. Each of these were a dollar ninety nine from the store Giant Eagle. Even people from Norway talk a lot of crap about this water. They're like, "Oh, it's even worse than our tap water." That's what people from Norway say. And they, they, everyone says you just you're just paying for the bottle, but that's kind of true for you know every bottle of water. You could just get tap water, but I guess with every bottle you're pretty much just paying for the bottle. Uh, these are 375 milliliter bottles. They also sell a much bigger, wider bottle. Uh, they also have a plastic version of the, the bottle. So here we go. Let's open up the tangerine lemongrass. see some bubbles going to the top there. I don't know. I don't know what lemongrass tastes like. I guess there's a tiny bit of tangerine, like orange flavor in there. I, I don't even know what lemongrass is. It's pretty similar to the orange one. Yeah, it smells like a, like a floor cleaner. It's, it's like pine salt or something. So, all three of these have 30 milligrams of sodium. Their pH level is 5. They are certified kosher. And uh, they also have some calcium, magnesium, a little bit of fluoride, and a little bit of sulfate in them. But they say they're all naturally flavored. But this one is supposed to just be water with carbonation added. But... The two on the sides are naturally flavored. When I reviewed the still version a couple months ago, I compared it to a cup of my urine. That was an interesting episode. My urine obviously tasted terrible. It was really salty and whatnot. So the still water had a really easy time making it to the next round. <coughs> Uh, excuse me. Um, so, these are also having an easy time getting to the next round because it's Voss against Voss. So it's kind of even cheating for Voss again. Uh, 
I've personally never seen anybody in real life um, drinking these. I see them in stores from time to time. Maybe it's just the people I hang out with. But I've never seen anybody drinking these. Um, so, these are not good to chug because they're sparkling. But an interesting thing about sparkling water is um, it makes you kind of slow down to drink it. In, in some of my other videos when I do still waters, I just chug the whole thing. This kind of stops you. Like, a good thing is it sort of slows you down, makes you taste it and, and enjoy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was in Chile uh, several years ago, th like, it was just normal for them to have, like, three-hour-long dinners and lunches. And they all drank sparkling water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it kind of fit with that country because, you know, it makes you slow down to drink it. Yeah, these two are pretty much tied. Uh, there is an aftertaste of the pine salt kind of, kind of flavor, the lemon flavor. Um... I mean, you have to admit, I don't think anybody can not deny that these are nice designed bottles. I think even on their website it says they won like multiple awards for the design of this bottle. <clears throat> I mean, this is something I could see myself filling this back up and like sticking this in a backpack to reuse. So, you know, you're paying two bucks, but I could see myself using this you know, over and over again. Burns. Yeah. Okay. So, out of these three, I'm going to say that the still water is my personal favorite. Uh, in the last video review I did, the still water was actually one of the first to go out. But out of these three, though, I would say this is my, the still one is my personal favorite. So, here's another test I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this bottle. It's made out of glass. I'm going to do a drop test, see what happens. This might be really stupid. I might get glass like all over my floor. Here we go. Nope, didn't crack. We'll do it on the side here. <laughs> okay, so good. Another thumbs up for Boss. It didn't, uh, didn't shatter all over the place. Let's try uh, the other two. Here we go. Oh, no, one of them broke. Shoot. Got a broken bottle. We got glass all over the place. So, it, it's cool that they're glass. It's supposed to make it uh, taste better, some people say. But, it's, uh, you know, less safe. I don't have, to, I have a bunch of glass I have to clean up. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's a bad idea to leave this in my backpack full of water, because sometimes I toss my backpack around. So broken glass. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.